all right good day so john and peter this is how to model staircase in proto structures okay so we have a uh, ground floor so let's insect uh, three more stories all right okay so after we have insected story let's go and edit the stories so guys right click on story then you go down to edit story okay so the first story i want to set it at a the 14 end at the end of your 14 level okay all right so i make it 1.2 then the second story i'll make it at a the landing the first landing of the staircase level okay and then the third story will now go to three meters okay all right so the first story i'll make it at 1.2 the second story which is at the staircase landing i make it 1.5 level then to make three meters from the 14 we also make it 1.5 okay then you press okay all right so this is what we have we have edited our story okay so now let's copy the ground floor the beams and the slab to the rest of the stories okay All right, so we have copy to all the trace stories. Okay, so we'll go to where we want to edit the, to put this, the slab, the staircase, the landing. Okay, so we have to delete all the other uh, slabs and the beams. So in Prota, you can just simply highlight all, then you hit on the delete, delete key then you select those that you don't want to delete then you click ok 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 so let's remain these beams for now so that we can insect our slabs before Okay, so let's take a look at it. The the, the staircase at the AutoCAD version. Okay, so we are going to check the landing distance. So we have 1.2 there. Okay, that's for the first landing. Okay. Okay, so when you come, get simply offset uh, the 1.2. So you click on offset, press F2, then you type in the value. Once it's coming downwards, you put negative 1.2. Okay, so we have our axis for the uh, the landing. Okay. So now, uh, now we, go, we we have to insert the the slabs. So you take the slab tool, go and edit the thickness you want, then we apply the load to it. Okay. Okay. Both life and death load as well. Okay. So after you have, have done that, uh, we guess have to insert our slabs using the either pick points or pick axis. Okay. But this one, let's use a uh, pick points. Soft and whispers low. Your smiles are spark, it starts to glow. Barefoot steps on sandy ground. Our rhythm's lost and then it's found. Hearts beat louder than a drum. Closer, closer, here I come. Under the stars, we sway tonight. You and me in the golden light Spin me around till the morning's near Love's 
So after we have inserted all our slabs, uh, then we now go ahead and we delete all the beams and the columns. Okay. Okay. So this beam at the landing, uh, we can leave that one, as the landing wouldn't be moving. let's take off the column okay so now we have it let's go to tools then you click on plane uh, definition okay so at the plane definition we have point 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 okay and then at the point 0.1 and 2 we have z then y okay so we guess uh, let's make the plane on the side okay so you see how it comes like so we have z1 go b0 z20 then we have a z3 at the top there okay so let's insect all of them then we now edit them accordingly So let's do it such a way that uh, they will not be interfering. So we have Z1, Z2, on Z3 over there. Okay. So uh, after you have finished uh, editing the plane, on um, then it's now time for us to set them to uh, the slopes that we want. Okay okay and then the plane values to let's say we are at the middle of the the story which is a three meter story so let's take it as a 1.5 downwards 1.5 upwards okay so that we have z1 and z2 so we set the first one 1.5 by 1.5 then the one which will be going downwards we will make it negative 1.5 by negative 1.5 okay Alright, so after we have done those editing, then uh, we we click update. So everything has been taken off. Alright, so the second landing, uh, it will be at the the last story level. Okay, so you just right click on it, go to uh, reference level, the reference level. Yes. Okay, then you type in uh, let's say three meters. Okay, then you click update. So it will go up to uh, the story level okay when you can look at that it in the 3d okay it has gone much more higher uh, three meters that's why it has gone higher above the uh the top floor okay 
So I'll just go and correct that. But first of all, let's go to uh, view. Then let's split our page into two. Okay. Then you click on plan. All right. So we can have both our two D and three uh, D all on the same window. All right. This way we we can see how it it has it goes. So you click on this and make it one point five. You see it has come down now to the uh, top story level. Okay. As you can see okay so nice and uh, to this one the plain definition we have set already so what we now do is get to right click on uh, any of them right click then you click on move plane to definition move plane to definition okay then you click yes then you do the same thing for the second one. Move plane to the finishing. Okay, then you click yes. All right. So after we've done that, let's look at the 3D. So you see, we have our our staircase uh, sloped added as we want it. Okay, you see. All right. So this is nice. Now the. The last floor, that's the third floor. You see that the columns are hanging up because I've set their floor uh, height to be 1.5. So the columns are at the distance of 1.5. Okay, so what to do is we just go to that floor, then go to columns, open this the column table. Okay, so the the length when you go to the story length is on one. So we make it two. So it means it will be spanning two stories. All right. So now we see that our columns have gone down. That's nice. Okay. So now let's look at how to generate uh, this staircase to other story. Okay. So now let's say we have only one story. So let's go and insect more stories. So click on stories, go to uh, insect stories. Then here, let's add more stories as we want. Okay, so let's add like uh, nine stories. Okay. Okay, so we have nine stories. So now what we do is we just go to stories again, then we say generate. So we generate this same similar story to the rest of the stories. All right. So let's first of all generate our staircase uh, story to the rest of the stories. So we now we select the story we want to generate it by holding down our control key to select multiple okay okay so after that then we also go to the uh, test story then also generate it to the rest of the stories we want okay so guys please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe I bet you it won't cost you anything for you to subscribe to my channel help and support my work okay and please share this to uh, your friends if it has impacted your life. Thank you very much. And I would love to see you next time.